Hey what's up guys in our last video we saw how we were able to create a login form inside our next.js application and then that form was able to send the credentials to the API server and if the credentials were valid we were getting the access token back from Sanctum for future API requests right now in this video let's see how we have set up our apis and what are the tests which i feel are important to ensure that our login is working properly so the first thing which we have done is obviously create this user slash auth url which is sending the request to the login controllers handle login method okay. uh, nothing much in there so let's go inside our login controller and see what we have done so far so we have this method over here which is handle login it takes the request does this validation pretty straightforward right and then we have user where email is this because we wanted to see whether the user exists or not okay. and if we don't find the user or if the password which is coming from the database right if the hash check of those two doesn't match we throw an error which basically says you know that the password which you are using is not correct okay so this is the validation exception which we are throwing this is pretty much what is there in the documentation for sanctum okay and then if we get the user then i'm creating this token variable which is available because we are running the function on the user object which is create token with a name web app and then we are doing plain text token okay and this is available because as i told you right if we go back to our user model user.php we have this has api token and that has api token has create token method and that's how we get that right okay so with that we get the token so in the response we send the token and the username i'm sending the username so that we can show the name of the user on the top navigation and certain areas of the application without you know, me requiring to fetch the user object again and again that's the only thing otherwise you can just send the token it doesn't really make a difference okay um in the auth.php i have this wrong password key with the actual string because if you remember in the login controller i'm showing the error with this you know language function which is the underscore underscore thing for translation right so that's why i used that and there's one more reason for that now what is that let's go to the test file and we will see so the first thing which we are testing is that we are able to log in if the credentials are correct which is our happy path so i create a user now every user which is created using the user factory we need to understand that the password which comes by default is password okay this is the hash for password so with that understanding or rather that assumption what i am doing is i'm making a json post request to our new route which is user.login sending the email which is the user's email which we just created password is hard coded password and with that i'm first asserting that i'm getting a 200 response obviously because in here okay let me open those files in the project itself login controller and login test so you can see i'm sending a 200 request uh, status code so i'm asserting that i'm getting a 200 status code and then i'm asserting a little bit of you know the shape of our json which is i'm first confirming that i have a token key I can't confirm the token because I don't know that and I'm also confirming that it has the username key with the actual name of the user and then we have etc so that's part of the assertion for our JSON okay and then the uh, the other happy path or rather the um, you know, exception is that if the user's password is not correct what we are doing is we are sending a random password to the same API call and I'm asserting that we have error and in the error email zero 
the message is exactly what is there in the auth.php file because I'm taking the translation message right here. So I'm able to confirm that that's the same message which we are sending back. So yes, that's about it. That's how we can do the login. Obviously, Sanctum has given us pretty much everything. So we don't need to write any complex logic in that. And this test case is able to validate everything which is going on in the login controller. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.